Hi everybody, Jared here from AdWordsScript.com, bringing you another AdWords script that you can use to automate your PPC management. So in this video, I want to give you an overview of my Bid Manager script and show you all its features. Um, very high level though. In this script, you can basically set rules within a Google spreadsheet and you can tell the script what you would do manually if you were going to manage your bids. So here we are, we're actually in the AdWords interface. If you're not familiar with scripts, you go look under bulk operations scripts and then you can create a script which I would provide for you and you take that script, you copy paste it in and then when you're done with that you can actually schedule this, this script to run um, at a certain frequency like hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. So imagine having a script running for you, in my case I have it running daily, and it's making bid changes automatically. I don't have to worry about whether or not my account's being managed because I am managing it because it's doing everything that I would do manually. Of course I'm checking in on it, making sure the bid changes are making sense, making sure my strategy is sound. But for the most part, everything you would do manually, you can do with this bid management script. So I'm going to briefly show you what it is, how it works, and how you can get it today. In this left column here, this is just a user-friendly name that you can use to identify the rule. When I think of bid management, I think of it in, in terms of three metrics, conversion, average position, and CPA. And you're going to find a bunch of people with a, a huge, vast array of differences in how they choose to manage um, PPC accounts. You know, some get more technical, some get less technical, some don't really know how to actually manage a PPC account. Um, but in my general experience, I've learned that these three metrics generally drive volume and they are an indicator of your performance. So just going off of my methodology here, I'm saying if it has converted or it hasn't converted, that's where we diverge. So it goes into two buckets. A keyword is either converted or it hasn't. And then from there, we're going to look at the performance based on those two buckets. So you can see I have highlighted just keywords that have converted, right? These are just rules to manage keywords that have converted. And I'm also then looking at um, what is its CPA. CPA is cost per acquisition or cost per conversion, whatever you want to call it. And then from there, I'm also looking at what position it's in. So if it has a high, it has conversions, it's in a high average position, and it's and it has a high CPA. Generally, what would you do in that situation if you came across that and you were going to manage that bid manually? Well. This script is saying multiply the bid by 0 0.99 and you can get as aggressive as you want. You can say multiply it by 0 0.95 and that's going to decrease the max CPC and you can also specify a stop limit. So in this case decrease the bids by 0 0.95 um, which is basically taking the max CPC and multiplying it by 0 0.95 which will in effect reduce the bid and it's saying don't reduce the bid less than a dollar in one cent. So you can be as aggressive as you want like I said but keep in mind that you're scheduling these scripts to run at a certain interval. In my case I have a daily so if I'm going to decrease the bids by 0 0.95 um, it's going to add up over time. So you want to consider how aggressive you're actually being here um, on your bid changes. And so these other criteria here, this is like, you don't want to change bids on a, a campaign that's paused, right? That doesn't make sense. Um, you don't want to change bids on a paused ad group and you don't want to change bids on a keyword that's paused. So this criteria here basically says if the campaign, ad group, and keyword status is active, then execute the bid rule. If it doesn't meet that criteria, then the bid rule won't be executed. And you can even go one step further and say if the match type is broad phrase or exact. 
So there's a lot of options within this bid management script. If you're familiar with automated bids and the automated bid rules that AdWords gives you, you can replicate all of that within this Google spreadsheet um, at lightning speed. You don't need to take hours of your day implementing automated bid rules because you can do that manually. I mean, you can do that all here and it's really easy. And even better, um, let me just show you how easy it is to implement. Let's say we want to implement some kind of rule. Um, we can see from this drop down we have all the familiar metrics that we're used to and you can manage your accounts based on any of these criteria. So we could say for example if impressions are greater than and then let's go down here let's actually make a new rule we'll just say it's our impression rule impressions rule and we're gonna say if the impressions are greater than one so when you see this question mark it's basically telling you to think about the number you put in this cell and in this case we put a one so if impressions are greater than one what do we want to do let's multiply the bid by we can just say you know this is not this is not a rule I'm just showing you how you make rules in this spreadsheet 0 0.01 so since we since this number is greater than one we're actually increasing the bid so what we want to do is set a, a maximum so in this case I'll just say five bucks so bid up to a maximum of five dollars and increase the bid by 1.01 .01. and of course we want to make sure that the keyword campaign and ad group status is active and there you go so this rule if it were to run would multiply any keywords with an impression of greater than one within the last 30 days it would increase it by 1.01 .01. so it would multiply the bid by 1.01 .01. and that's how you make these rules and luckily since it's in a spreadsheet you can quickly and easily add these rules and so you can use these preset rules that I've created you can go over here you can modify them to suit your CPA goals or you can start fresh and implement any columns that you like to map to the rules that you desire and that's pretty much what this script can do one more thing I want to show you there's this changes tab as you can see we have um, a change history of our actual changes that were made so every time this script runs it's going to log all the changes for you on the changes tab which is really nice so you can see this was the max CPC before this is the max CPC after and this is the reason when we look at the reason we get the reason based on the, na the name of the rule and so that's kind of how the script works um, once you buy it I will give you the script you simply copy paste it in and you just have to change one line which is this and this will tell the script the location of your spreadsheet and it's really as simple as that so if you're tired of doing all these bid changes manually now's the time to try an automated system so visit adwordsscript.com and purchase the script today.